The advice which I would have for young writers coming is simply prepare to collect your rejection slips. Write, put those slips in your cupboard, in your drawer, put the slips there, and continue writing. And then you move away from what you wrote originally, you can go back to it, read it, go for a walk, go for a beer, do something different, but come back and start writing. You get another rejection slip, open that drawer, shove it in there. It's part of your mementos, it's souvenirs. But ultimately, you'll find, send your material, not just to publishers, but to literary journals, to regular journals, which have, however, literary pages. The odd poem, the odd short story, the odd essay, there may be even broadcasting um, stations, which just, and these days, even with the um, uh, online publication, go right ahead. One thing which I would advise you not to do is, especially if you have money and you, maybe your parents have money, self-publishing is a last resort. You know, it's a last resort. Uh, try and get other people to assess you, not you assess yourself. To recommend three books for a uh, reader, it's so difficult. Let me just say that, first of all, uh, writers should not hesitate to have at least one biography in mind, one biography. It will tell a lot about people and how people think and imagine and, and start. Then I would also recommend at least one history book. Read one history book at least, you know, so you see how history events are reported by other people. It must be recollected that basically I, I'm, I'm a theatre person. I've always been fascinated by theatre and I don't know how often I have gone through the complete works of Shakespeare, whom I think is just the greatest uh, the abnormal being, a creative being uh, the world has ever known. And I would recommend, that I would say that, uh, curiously enough, you know, it was the Greek tragedies I first came uh, across in theater, yeah, in European theater. Uh, I remember it was Euripides Medea, and I was just fascinated by the passion involved. You know, very young, I used to go through my father's library like a termite, you know, eating up all the, well, his literal sparse library. And it was just knocked out by the, by the raw passion and the use of language to transmit that passion. And also the mixture again, once again, of politics with human emotion, you know, it's all in that media. I remember that work very well, and I think perhaps that single work uh, made me you know, unconsciously committed to the theatrical form, in addition to my own traditional uh, theater, um, Yoruba theater, which was all around me. I go through phases of, um, you know, of attraction. In, in my car, for instance, uh, in, in Nigeria, we're notorious for traffic jams. And in, in my vehicle, I have a moving library so that when I'm caught up in traffic, I'm moving from one book to the other to be able to survive until traffic opens up.